I had the best sleep last night, you guys, and I'm going to tell you why. And it only partially has to do with the fact that two of my kids slept at their Nana and Papa's. And the other one, for some miracle reason, is sleeping in until nine for the first time in his whole life. Before I get into the next part of the story, um, I just want to let you know that this might not be for like kids to watch because Johnny and I get a little bit into our personal relationship stuff. So just a heads up. I wanted to talk to you guys about something that you don't know about us, Johnny and I. Um, you may notice that I'm here in this cozy bed. I woke up by myself and here I am again by myself because this is my bedroom, my own bedroom. That's right, Johnny and I don't sleep in the same bedroom. And we have so many reasons for this. And for us, it has been one of the most groundbreaking decisions we've ever made. Here, watch, I'll ask him. Hey babe! Come here for a sec. What up? Come here for a sec. What's going on? Get in here. Get into my bed. <laughs> what's happening? What's the best thing about our relationship aside from, like, what's the best thing we ever did aside from having kids? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Separate, separate beds. Separate bedrooms. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I'm explaining to the people that we don't sleep in the same room mm. and how amazing it is for us. I sleep like this. For so many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, why would I take that away from him? Exactly. And I also go to bed at like three in the morning. And I also go to bed at like three in the morning. Yeah. And I want to sleep like this too. <laughs> so getting exactly. the best sleep is so important because... Mm -hmm. And if you guys are parents, you know this, especially after you have your first kid, that your sleep goes away for a long time. So you, so need, you, every need, minute. you need to get it while you can. So for mm -hmm. us, it really started to work. And I'm going to get into details, but you can go back yeah. to cooking now okay. if you want. But. So <clears throat> here's what happened. Here's the story. I was like six or seven months pregnant with Giorgio and my, our first son, who's now almost six. And I was giant and I was peeing every five seconds. And um, naturally my body was putting me into a, a different sleep schedule. Johnny and I used to be on the same schedules before I got pregnant. <clears throat> anyway, so we were finding it really, he would come in at four o'clock and want to watch TV or go on his computer or whatever at the time and his phone and I would already be asleep and that would wake me up and then I would have to get up and then I'd wake up and go pee every five minutes and that would wake him up and all the stuff you know some people snore and some people talk and some people kick each other in their sleep and one night I said you know what babe I'm just gonna go in the spare room for a night because I really just want to have like a nice sleep, solid sleep all the way through and we never turned back and we know that that's not for everyone there we know lots of people who um who can't sleep without a body beside them and that is so great and so fine but for us and we did that we really did but we found that after I was pregnant and then when we started having kids and stuff it just our sleep again we were so deprived so it just made so much sense and we would made so much sense and we would get better sleeps in our own beds um and it was really it's really weird to explain that to people because a lot of people think oh that's bad like that's weird people don't do that and we don't really care <laughs> that 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 might be the case for some people because for us it really works and I personally think that it might work for a lot of people who don't know that it works for them yet um, because a lot of, you know, resentment and anger and stuff can all be derived around lack of sleep. We all know that. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, in our relationship, it's just worked out to be this really great thing. And if you're wondering about our love life, it's wonderful. It's almost like we have maintained that honeymoon phase of our relationship um, because we have our time 
and then we hang and then we go into our own beds kind of like we're going back to our own apartments back to when we first started dating <laughs> and it just really works for us so there's a little insight and a little look into you know a personal piece of Johnny's and my relationship that might not be the normal but it really works for us. Even when we're on tour, we get separate hotel rooms. And I've had even people on our crew ask us before, like, why do you guys get separate hotel rooms? And it's because we work together and we live together and we raise our children together. And there needs to be a space. There needs to be a space for each of us to be ourselves and to be on our own and to have really good sleeps and to have personal time. Food's ready. Okay, the food's ready. Um, do you want to come say bye to the people before I go? Bye, peeps. So that's it. You guys are still talking about separate beds? Yeah. I was yeah. just talking it's not about for It's not for everyone. But some it people, works for us. Some people sleep like logs. And um, some people don't have the ability to have two rooms. And so whatever works for you. Yeah. But it, it does get like weird reactions when we tell people sometimes and they're just like what I but i think that. it's changing i, I didn't think... know you guys didn't like each other or like we like each other more <laughs> <laughs> right. we might even love each other we may just love each other <laughs> <laughs> okay right, you, guys. you guys thank you so much for hanging out today stay tuned because there's lots of more weird stuff that we do that well we're not going to go into full detail <laughs> Anyway, thank you for tuning in, and maybe that put a little light inside your head. I don't know. Who knows? One of the things that I think is the most important is that we communicate all these things so that we can make our own decisions and live our lives the way that we want to and the way that we can be the best with each other and all that kind of thing. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Mwah. Good night. I'm going to go eat some salmon and then put my other kids to bed. Did you have a good shower? The dogs and stories and songs. This. Um, books, <laughs> books and stories and songs. Books and stories and songs? Yeah. Let's do it. Georgie's having a drum lesson. Let's check it out.